Hello everybody, today I'm going to build the F-16 Fighting Falcon Supersonic Multi-Role Fighter. This is a Brickmania kit that is licensed by Lockheed Martin, and it was designed by Cody Cell. The kit is a skill level 4 out of 5. It contains 969 Lego and Minifig Cat elements plus one Minifig. Here's the artwork on the back of the box. Pretty cool. Pause it and read the uh, statement in the bottom right corner if you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and open the box and see what's inside. There are 11 bags of parts that come in this kit. Here's the minifig. Here's a sticker sheet that comes with this kit. Pretty cool graphics on there. And here's the instruction manual. Let's flip it open and let you see what some of the instructions look like. Nice layouts. Shows all the parts really well. Should be a fun build. I'm going to go ahead and Separate the parts and start the speed build.
Hello everybody, I've finished the build on the F-16 and thought I'd give you a little close-up on the minifig. Really cool design. Lando did a really good job on him. Good detail on the printing. Trying out a little turntable that I built here recently. Might have to make it a little taller so you can actually get a closer look at them. But it's doing all right. Let's go ahead and take a look at the F-16 now. So here's the F-16 fully built. It was a very fun build. I had some trouble. I built the whole assembly that the front wheels on or in one brick too far back. But once I realized it, everything went smoothly after that. A lot of tiles and slopes in there. A couple of uh, printed parts. You can see the rescue on the uh, side there by the cockpit and I'm assuming that's a gun port or something there by the cockpit also. The rear flaps do adjust up, down, sideways. The wing flap does go down. This is the I guess second iteration of this. It is the licensed version. It comes with the full loadout, unlike the version before it where you had to buy all the rockets on the side. The landing gear, gear does all go inside. A couple little doors will conceal it. I do not have the stand port though. That was a, a separate item when the first version of this airplane came out. There was a little stand that would lock into the bottom of it with two Technic axles and hold it up so you could have the wheels in and look like it's flying. I'll have to see if I can find one of those or design one myself. The build was really fun. Designed real well. Cody did a great job on it. Hope you guys enjoyed watching the speed build. If you did, please like, subscribe, share with your friends, and click the little bell so you know when I make my next video or release it. I'll let it go around a little further before I shut it down. Anyway, I hope all of you guys have a wonderful day or weekend, and I'll see you when I do my next build.